So you're you just be what seventh gym, sixth, seventh, something like that. Which one's a rock type gym? I think it's sixth. It's a version exclusive, so I don't know. It's ice and uh. Oh really? Shield, yeah. Wow. Yeah, rock is a, and uh, the. I G-Mex. thought it was just ghost type and fighting type for the um. Wasn't there like a a ghost type gym leader? Yeah. Was it Ghost in Fighting? Yeah. Okay, I'm too, like... And they have, uh, there's version exclusive Gigantamax Pokemon based on the version exclusive gyms. Well, so, like, shit. you can only get G-Max Machamp and Sword. Uh, unless okay. you do a raid with somebody else that's doing a Machamp raid. Um, and same with Colossal. Um, that's... and then Gengar and Lapras are, um, Wait, are Colossal is in, in Sword? Gengar and Lapras is in Shield, okay. Yeah, like you can get the regular Pokemon, but the G Max forms you can only get in the respective games. Weird enough, I made a, I had a recent match on OK Cupid, <laughs> and and her favorite Pokemon was uh, Gengar. A lot of people say Gengar when I ask them. It's I, all those people that only played Gen One, you know. You know what? What's your take on Gen Oneers? I mean. Hey, whatever. Enjoy the games you want to enjoy, you know? Um, that's, that's fair. I, See, uh, I want to make a biased claim, like, you know, like, there's, like, seven other generations now. Yeah. You know, the, you like less Pokemon than not, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes it, it made sense in my head. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like this is a good, this is a good gen because it's bringing a lot of people back into it, you know? Like, yeah. a lot more people are, they have Switches than people had, like, 3DSs and stuff. And they're more interested in getting back into Pokemon now. I think the Switch is uh, just kicking ass. You know, this, this yeah. the same match that I'm talking to, she's, uh, um, it's weird, too, because it's like, this is a dating site. Why am I talking about, like, you know, buddy-buddy stuff with, yeah. like, somebody that, like, I might want to make my girlfriend? I don't know. Maybe she, she can be my girlfriend. I don't think she'll ever hear this, but uh, <laughs> probably not. Probably no. not. I'll probably get ghosted at the end of the day because uh, I said something wrong about Gengar. Mm. Weird enough, like I tried talking about like other things other than Gengar, but then when I brought the conversation back to Gengar, she was just like she lit up a little bit. Yeah. Do you ever get the, into those conversations yeah. where it's like? It's just like they don't, they're only responsive for one singular thing. And yeah, like, or they only want to talk about certain things that they're interested in. They don't want to hear what you're interested it's in. It's one sided, man. Yeah. Do you know you can change the colors of your outfit on the bike? Really? Yeah, you talk to one of the. Uh, talk to this guy? Yeah. This guy? Uh, Rotom. Oh, no, shit, shit. Not Rotom. Uh, it's like, give me a makeover. And then it, you get a choice uh, between whatever. <laughs> Colors uh, are associated with the first Pokemon in your party. Fire type color. So th- that won't change much because you were already red. I think it makes it a little darker or maybe just the same. But um, I have the grass type color, so it's green. I'm not going to lie. I, I For the past two generations, I didn't really like any of the clothes that they had. No, nah, me neither. Like, I, I'm not a big, like, I don't care too much about customization. Like, my favorite gen is Gen 4, so... You know, that that brings me to, like, a point where it's, like, you know, like, the, the whole, like, uh, uh, debate on, you know, like, the, the lower quality trees, how it looks like trees from Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Coupled with, you know, why are you getting rid of all these beloved Pokemon, you know, like Amoongus. You know? Amoongus is my favorite Pokemon. I so. know, that's yeah. why I said it. Amoongus is the best. Yeah. For all you folks out there, Amoongus officially is the best. Um, but, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought, damn it. Oh, oh, like, before, like, like they, they started going into 3D and, like, the Kalos region. Yeah. It was, um... Nobody cared about it being 3D, or nobody cared about Pokemon having excellent graphics. Even even like the Chibi style uh, uh, graphics for like Pokemon X and Y, you know, 
that was fine. You know, like nobody cared about 3D, you know, full, full, uh, um, fully sized characters. At least I didn't. You know, I mm-hmm. just cared about playing Pokemon, you know, and, and having a good story. You know, and, and I sometimes wonder if Nintendo or the Pokemon Company itself, they feel kind of throttled in this this uh, uh, expectation that, oh, we have to have excellent supreme graphics if we're gonna have if we're gonna be able to compete with Xbox and PlayStation. Whereas yeah. I I don't really see it that way. I kind of see Nintendo as its own category in a way. Yeah, like it's it's not meant to be like one of those. It's a triple A game, but it's not meant to be the same thing as like Call of Duty or something. And I I am super happy with how this game turned out. I really don't care that much that a bunch of Pokemon get cut. <laughs> it just makes it easier to get the shiny charm. Like that's all I care about. And I have a goal of trying to get every Pokemon in the game shiny. Uh, once I get the charm, and I am, I have like three hundred thirty-four out of four hundred caught, so I'm getting Jeez, there. Jeez, man. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I don't know. Have that, that um, much patience. I I I have like a hundred and seventy hours played in the game, and most of it's just shiny hunting. And while I'm hatching eggs, I'll just surprise trade nonstop, like the stuff that I already hatched, and that just helped me fill up all the version exclusives and stuff. Like I'm missing Zacian. And that's it in terms of version exclusives. And then everything wow. else is pretty much evolutions. Holy crap. And then I need, like, Drampa, I think. And then I have everything. Now, are most of the Sun and Moon, if not all of the Sun and Moon Pokemons, are they included in Sword and Shield? There's a few of them, yeah. Like, uh, Cutie Fly is in it. I know because I keep running into them while breeding. I know the Bounce Sweet line is yeah. in it. Oh, look, I evolved my, uh, oh, my evolved. Rabu. I did it. I did it. I'm, you know... I'm happy that of how you know like this is kind of a recap. I kind of kind of wanted to talk about how this is like a recap for like my whole uh, uh, Pokemon experience towards uh, discovering Pokemon for the first time. You know, we we talked earlier about how there's like kind of an art to um, you know not spoiling everything. Like I I waited almost I I pretty much waited a month before. Uh, you know, evolving Score Bunny in, into its final stage, and it's like, I'm glad I waited. You yeah, know? I'm you glad like I it, savored right? it. I love it. And the thing is, is I didn't have, I didn't go on any forums. Yeah. I didn't go on Facebook. I didn't go on YouTube. I didn't go on none of that. And I just kind of was just like, all right, what's it gonna look like? I need to know myself. Yeah. I don't want any opinions, because that's how you get the uh, hate from Gen Five. Yeah. Do you remember that? Like Gen 5? Like a lot uh, of disdain that people had for Gen 5? Yeah. I mean, Gen 5 was the first Pokemon game I really like remember playing all the way through. Like the first one I got was Heart Gold and I thought it was broken, but it wasn't. I just had no idea how it worked, so I traded it in for Soul Silver. And um I played through that the whole way, but I barely remember any of it. And then I did Pokemon White, and I loved it. I really, like, there's a reason two of my favorite Pokemon are Zebstrika and Amoongus, like. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I was kind of looking at the negatives, personally. I I think, for me, it's like the starter has to be good. Uh, like, yeah, the starters suck. It has suck. to be pleasing. They, they're really bad. I think that was, like, because, like, that's going to be the Pokemon that's going to be your partner, the the Pokemon that you dedicate yourself with. For the rest of the game. Yeah, I chose Tepig, and once it evolved, I put it in the box and never saw it again. I did that uh, once Black and White 2 came out. I stubbornly used uh, Pig Knight and then Embor, uh, just thinking, you know, like, it would be, it'd be it'd come out of the wash, you know, I'd get used to it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I it never grew on me until... The anime promo for Black and White 2. Mm-hmm. That kind of sunk in, and I'm like, okay, there's a little bit of character with Samurott, and, you know, Superior looked cool in that in that promo. Yeah, um, Superior if- is the best out of the finals. Um, and I think 
Uh, Duat is the best out of the middles, and then Tepig is a really good first stage, and so is Oshawott. I'm not a big fan of the first two stages of the Snivy line at all, and normally I like all the starters, like um, Gen 5 is one where I don't, um, and this gen, I'm not a big fan of the score bunny line, but I love the other two. And the first two e evos for score bunny, I'm a big fan of. Personally, I don't like Cinderace though. That's really? Just, that's just my opinion. I love Cinderace. Why? Because, you know, well, what, what, what don't you like about him? I don't like that it has blue parts instead of black parts. Like it's legs and it's like suspender shape. They're like oh, okay. dark blue instead of yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. My first my first impression was like, oh, it looks like Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like I Aladdin. I don't like its weird hands, and I don't like how, like, yeah, from the front, it, it kind of looks like a cat to me. And when I first saw it, I was really disappointed. Because I, I had everything spoiled for me. I'm the exact opposite. I saw every single Pokemon beforehand. See? And it sucks because you didn't have that... You didn't have that suspense for you. You're yeah. just like, yeah, I know what to expect. It's. I mean, I, w I would show you my team that I uh, I beat the league with, um, but I don't know if you've seen one of the Pokemon yet, so. Nope. Can't. I can't. Well, well actually, I could probably show you my Pokedex, and I don't know. I if... love Phalanx. Does that, does Phalanx evolve? No. But okay. But Phalanx is one of my favorite Pokemon this generation. I love Phalanx. It kind of looks like a Kirby knockoff. Like Dude, it kind of looks like Meta Knights. I, I love Phalanx. Yeah, and I just, it's. Oh so yeah, great. I evolved my. Uh, um... Hatterene is a great Pokemon too. Yeah. It's like Gardevoir too. Yeah, yeah, I, that's what I kind of got with the typing. Um, More Impidip's entire line is fantastic. I don't know what this evolves into. The the more grim. It's like, it's probably going to be some weird goblin looking... I am a massive fan of Morgram's evolution. I'm, okay. a, I'm a fan of that whole line. And Shiny Morgram, one of the best shiny mons in the entire game. Seriously? The entire okay. line has really, really good shinies. Because the green and pink invert. And oh, okay. they swap. And then their hair turns white, and their tongues turn white. Oh, that's that's awesome. It's cool. It's really cool. That's awesome. Impenimp is a great shiny. I've... I've only gotten one shiny so far, and I hatched, I think, 2,360-something eggs for Cramorant, and I never got it. And then I tried switching to Clobopus. Well, I don't know if you've seen that yet. It's a, Oh, yeah, it's Evolved Form of Grappalock. That's the Pokemon. I wasn't sure if you've seen it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I saw, I've um, seen it. I evolved. I actually evolved a lot of my Mons um, because, I, you know, I was... Like we said earlier, I was savoring the experience. So, like, I'm at, like, the fourth gym, the fighting-type gym, being sword. I was just evolving everybody. You know, I didn't want to... Yeah. I didn't want to continue further into the game and have, like, another trainer spoil it for me, if yeah. that makes sense. Like, because I know Wulu was supposed to evolve. Like, I, I noticed, like, the there was a space between, like, Wulu... And another Pokemon, and I'm like, okay, this doesn't look like that. That this has a pre-evolution. Yeah, so it's got to be Wulu's evolution. It's got to be Wulu's evolution. I like Wulu's evolution. More, more, most people don't like it. I like it personally. Have oh. you seen it yet? Yeah, it's fluffy. Uh, Dub wool, yeah. Dub wool. Yeah, Wulu shiny and Dub wool shiny are really good. They uh, they just invert colors. That's all you need. Keep yeah, it simple. I have but mine caught in a luxury ball. All of the um. The shinies oh, this game, I feel like there's a lot of really fantastic ones, and there's a lot of ones that just suck. And there's really no in-between. They're either really, really good or really terrible. It's, you know, it's disappointing, to be honest. You know, the, the biggest um, confusion that I had um, was, like, I, we were texting back and forth and evolving Yamask into... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Runigris, stupid. Runic... How do you say it? Runerigus or Runerigus or something like that. Yeah, it, they don't really. Runerigus. Yeah, Runerigus. I don't know. I think it's, isn't it Kofagrigus for the Gen Five? I think it's Kofagrigus, but I'm not sure. Kofagrigus. That was a risky name. Yeah, yeah, that'll get you shadow banned on YouTube. I sure. um, <laughs> uh, Kofagrigus and Persian are in the decks. The. Galarian decks. So you have to get 
the original forms of their pre-evolutions and evolve them. And I have no clue how to get regular oh. Yamask. So I have oh, to... Oh, it's in uh, Pokemon Center. Oh, I, well, I guess I'll have to go it's to every the, Pokemon it's Center. It's in the Pokemon Center. There's this little girl that's like, hey, you want to trade my Yamask for another Yamask? And it's like, okay. And then you do it. Yeah, I'll have to do that because I need, I need that and I need Persian for my decks. Um, I still haven't seen uh, Mr. Rhyme. Have you evolved your Mr. Mime? Or, well, I guess he's at, not. He's at level 40. He's two levels away. He's two levels away, I know. I'm I'm kind of savoring I it, am you know? a big, big fan of Mr. Rhyme's evolution. Or Mr. Mime's evolution. Because I, I, I never really liked Mr. Mime that much in the past. It used to freak me out a little bit. But Mr. Rhyme is great. Really great. You know, going back to like the... Um... I guess typings and I suppose Pokemon traditions themselves. Um, I always, uh, um, yeah, it, like there's there's always like a new tradition. Like there's gonna be a uh, this is gonna be the grass type of this generation that yeah. that you know isn't the starter. You know, like last I think it was like Fomantis. Yeah, Lorantis, Lorantis, and yeah. Fomantis. The one before it was. Um, can't think of it. Oh, I think it was Whimsicott. Uh, Flabebe or whatever? No, it was Whimsicott and Cottony. For, the for Gen grass, 5? For, for yeah. Gen 6, and then Gen 5 was... Or was Gen 5? Uh, yeah, Cottony was Gen 5. No. Okay, I and like it was, Gen it 5 was, a little bit better now. It was version ex it was version exclusives with Petalil and okay. yeah, that's uh, Lilligan. Okay, yeah, thinking. But for some reason, there's always this like feminine-looking grass type that they want to put in every single game, like Gossifleur and Eldegoss. Gossifleur and Gu Eldegoss. Gu I don't even know how to say it. Eldegoss definitely Eldegoss. feels like a middle stage to me. It feels like it should yeah. have a third stage, and it doesn't. It's incomplete. Yeah, like, it you feels. Could... It feels like they started to design an evolutionary line, and then they stopped halfway. Yeah, I kept him in my party thinking that, oh, sweet, I'd have like a third form of this yeah. guy. And it's not. It, it just stops the case. at Gossifleur. Or uh, Eldegoss. And Eld uh, Gossifleur Shiny is one of the best in the generation. And Eldegoss is okay. It's one of the few shinies that's just okay. It's not like poopy or really great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the, poopy. Uh, the fossils have really good shinies. Um, the Dreadnought line has incredible shinies. Hmm. Uh, or Beetle has a really good shiny. Yeah, I could see that. I feel like Or Beetle was the um, unused uh, art that that they were going for for like Ledian and Ladybug. Yeah, because it's like the it has um, a it has a great Gigantamax form too. It looks like that. That's what um, Lady Ladybug would have evolved into uh, had Johto kept like the the Gold and Silver Beta kept true to itself. Yeah, I like that it's it's the first uh, bug psychic type. Um, it, this gen, we got the first bug ice type and the first bug psychic type. And uh, the Centisquoch line is one of the few bug fire types. They, they, there was a lot of, lot of love for bug types this gen. Yeah. And a lot of love for dragon types, too. Um, there's yeah. two dragons. There's like a dragon ghost that I saw. Yeah. That I have uh, no idea. Like, I, I know the first form. I forget the name of Dreepy, it. Dreepy, yeah. Dre that's kind of... It's cute. Dreepy's it's final really evolution cute. is really cool. And I I shiny hunted Dreepy for so long. I filled up all my boxes twice. And then I said... That usually that's my limit. If I fill up all my boxes twice, I switch targets, and then I go for that. Um... And that's what happened, and then I went for Zigzagoon, and I got my shiny Zigzagoon in 28 eggs. And wow. Yeah, I, uh, I can... So it's good to switch gears sometimes. Yeah. Um, I actually... I have kept him on my time, team man. the entire time, and I love, love, love that line so no much. No way. Its shinies are great. It's like a... Um, kind of like a Team Skull kind of coloration. Yeah, I, I love... It. Yeah. I love it, and... I like it. It's like cotton candy. Yeah, the... <laughs> I, there's, it's so or, rare no, that you, you get know a, what uh, it is. It's the um, flag Slurpee. of the Netherlands <laughs> or the Slurpee. I was gonna say red and blue Slurpee because its tongue is blue too. Yeah, I like. You know? um, I've heard toothpaste. A lot of people <laughs> say toothpaste. Um, For Obstagoon. Yeah, like the whole Zigzagoon line shinies are just so 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 good, and it's so rare that you get like a red shiny. 
Yeah. There aren't enough of them, and this is just so solid. They got Red Gyarados. Well, yeah, but, like, everybody's got a Red Gyarados. Everybody. Everybody in their, I have, their first I cousin have has I have actually it. caught two shiny Magikarps. No, I, uh, what? Caught? Yeah. Oh, with the, um... I did, I did right? the chain fishing the once, chain fishing. and then I tried to do that exploit in Sun and Moon where you hatch a bunch of Magikarps until you get a shiny, and then you go back to your last save point before you got the shiny, and you swap that egg out with, like, a Rowlet egg or something, and then, boom, when you hatch that egg, it's a shiny Rowlet. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so, so, uh... Like, the egg is predetermined by number or something like that. Um... There was some weird glitch, and I tried to do it, and I failed. So I ended up oh, with okay. a second shiny Magikarp. But the first one is a Gyarados. That was my first ever shiny. Yeah. Legitimately, like, hunted shiny. And then I got Octillery, and then, like, Wismer, I think. And Machop. Now, do you, um... I'm trying to think. Do you get every Pokemon in their evolutionary form as a shiny? Or do you just go for their final form? I always go for the first form, if I can. Um, okay. And this this gen, it's... Oh, no, I mean, like, uh, just saving it. You know, like, just to have every single Pokemon as I, I just keep the final form, usually. Okay. It, it yeah. depends on how much I like the previous form. Like, um, for Wooloo, I think Wooloo's shiny is better than Double shiny. And I'm a big fan of right. both of them. Eldegoss. Yeah, versus, Eldegoss uh, and Gossifleur. So I'll probably get two of each, you know? Um, That's good to know. Yeah. Gotta get your favorites. Yeah, exactly. You know, I always thought about... Um, Sobble's like, shinies are really good. The whole Sobble line. I haven't Sobble seen line. the line. Oh, no. I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm not going to show you. I didn't you. actually. I, still I saw only have Sobble, and I had to look away. I've seen uh, um, Grookey's line, because my rival, and, uh, you know, Hop, as you would all know. Uh, and, you know, of course, Score Bunny, because I talk way too much about the fact that it's a rabbit. Now, sp now going back to the whole idea of, like, there's got to be... Um, they, they, they always go for, like, a tradition. Like, there's always a good bug type. Uh, there's a lot this gen. There's a lot this gen. They always have a, uh, you know, like, Corviknight is the flying type line. Uh, Eldegoss is, like, the feminine-looking grass type. But, like, uh, and then they have, like, a cute maybe dog type Pokemon. They've been yeah. doing that since Gen 3. Yamper's shiny sucks. It's really bad. Really? Yeah. It, like, That's disappointing. It's tan parts go a little bit pink, and that's it. And it it's so hard to notice. And then Bolt Hun, it's like somebody put a red filter over it. So you can, it barely looks any different. They're both really bad. Oh, that bad. sucks. Yeah, it's very disappointing. It's one, of the, it's one of the ones that just has such a bad shiny, you want to ignore it. That's such, that was such a good Pokemon, too. Like, yeah. You know, like, it, it felt like it could have used, like, a third form, kind of like Stoutland. Yeah. Not not like, you know, a big fat poochie, but like a um a more dog more of a grown full Yeah, like grown a bigger dog. a bigger like greyhound type of thing. You know? Yeah. I yeah. could have seen it in that direction or something more ferocious. Have you seen the fossils yet? Um I've seen two. I actually recently got the uh what is it, the dragon fossil? What's it called, the drake fossil? Yeah, the drake fossil. They're really, there's two in, like, for me, it was the the bird fossil and the um, dino fossil. Where they took forever. I spent, like, 50,000 watts trying to get them, and I finally did. Um, it's going to be a nightmare trying to shiny hunt those. Um, for me, it's the opposite. I, I had such trouble finding the... Yeah, because it's versions, version exclusives. Really? Yeah. Really? Um... But Dracovish, uh, which is the fish head on the dragon tail, mm -hmm. um, I love it, and it's uh, like really, really good competitively. Um, it's one of the huh. best competitive mons this generation. I haven't seen the, uh, haven't seen Dracovish yet, but I understand that, that like they're taking two of the, um, like whatever the original Pokemon was. Like, they're taking, like, <coughs> Draco or Arcto <coughs> and adding, like, Vish or Zolt, yeah. you know, to the, um, to the mix. I like the Dracos a lot more than I like the Arctos. Um, that's just personally. And their shinies are, like, they're just grayed out. Like, they're just black and white, and I think there's, like, purple in them. And they look great, especially the Draco ones. Hmm. It's hard to tell on Arctivish and uh, uh, Arctozolt, but the other two are really good really solid 
That's good to know. Is now can you breed them? I don't think Are so, they no. Breedable? I don't think you can breed them. We should add each other's friend codes, by the way. How do we how do you do that? Uh with uh Oh wait, maybe <laughs> well I'm seeing that you're doing a raid battle, I'm so I can join on battle. that. Oh, you can actually join in? Yeah, I think so, since we're so close. Yep. Oh shit. What should I add to this? Um Well it's Pangoro, I don't know. I'm thinking like uh this would be nice if we could do like a screen capture thing, but I'm not too worried about it. What's weak what's weak against Pangoro? Cause I wanna like my instinct is like, yeah, I'd put in a psychic type, but it's also a dark type. So do I put in another I'm doing Cramorant for the flying weakness. That's a good idea. I think I'll put in my my team ended up being really, really good. Um we cover it covers every single uh weakness. Except for um it doesn't cover uh, dragon types too well, but I have my, my Obstagoon and my Cramorant, no Ice Beam. So that's like the closest I've got to a dragon counter. Um, Do they have TMs? Yeah, there's TMs and TRs. Yeah, I know. TRs break after use, like the old TMs, but you can get a ton of them, like multiple. That's classic. I'm glad they brought that back. Yeah. You know, that's something that like added... Like when when they um, was that Gen five when they took away the TM? It, they, no, they uh they were one six. use in Gen five. They got rid of them in Gen six, because I remember trying to teach my uh, Zip Strike a uh, Flame Charge. I remember how convenient that was once it happened in Gen six, and it's like wow, I'm gonna just buy out all these TMs and just have them forever. Mm. And um, this a G Max Corviknight or just a Dynamax? Uh, I didn't even know I had a G Max. No, it's just Dynamax. You have to get like a, you have to catch a specific Gigantamax one in a raid battle, for it to be able to Gigantamax. Oh, and it, it drops like a crystal or something. No, it just it? um, it doesn't drop a crystal. You can that one is the only one that can Gigantamax. You can't like. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah, that, you can't have your partner Pokemon. Yeah. you know, like the first and they, uh, that you catch. Yeah, that's that's annoying. Um. Yeah. So that goes with with uh, Cinderace. Uh, none of the starters have Gigantamax forms. That doesn't make well. That, they kind of did that with uh, Gen Six, not having any Megas. Well, you know, yeah, like, I none guess. of the starters having Megas. I so I think they should have given them Gigantamax forms because every single major battle in the game against your other two rivals, everything at the very end of the game, every single major battle has had a Gigantamax form except for Milo because he's the first gym leader and Eldegoss is his signature Pokemon. It doesn't have a form. Yeah. Um, and Hop because he doesn't get any Pokemon that Gigantamax. They should yeah. make it so the starter can Gigantamax and you get one that can That's at the beginning. That's the whole gimmick of yeah. the game. Yeah. You know, you, you'd figure I mean, the, there's something there. The Gen 7 starters had Z-moves, right? And, uh, yeah, and that was cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's not in this game, the Z move thing. Like, if you're gonna get rid of a bunch of Pokemon, you know, like try to keep in the gimmicks here. But th that would be, that'd be crazy, you know. Like one Pokemon can Z move, the other can Mega, and then this person can uh, Gigantamax. Yeah, well, they they took out Z moves and Megas in this game. You can't do them at all. So should I catch them? I mean, why not? You know? Can you Gigantamax? Uh, no. You'll, um, when you battle them, they will be in their Gigantamax form. Like, oh, okay. Like, Duraludon, Warbeetle, Garboder, um... Just gonna throw a Dust Ball at him. Scourge, Dreadnaw. Dreadnaw has one. Oh, wait, that was in the Water-type gym, right? He doesn't know, uh... Nessa Di Dynamaxes him the first time you battle her, but she's in like the championship cup at the end. Oh shit! Uh, she's kind of like an elite four member, and she gig she got Gigantamaxes him then. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I only spoiled myself on uh, Gengar's Gigantamax. I love form. Gengar's. It looks like a tent. It's so cool. It's like a and it's shiny as one of the better ones because the Gigantamax forms can be shiny. Um. But not the gift ones, so not the Eevee, Pikachu, or um, Meowth. But all the other ones you can catch as shinies. 
but they're super hard to find to begin with. And for them to be shiny, that's so rare. Um, and it's so hard to catch them because they have a really low actual capture weight. It's uh, oh, really? it's not fun. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't run into one yet. I'm I'm just gonna try and get the charm before I go on any more hunts. Um, you that's why we got should one more guy, right? Yeah. Well, I have uh, in terms of version exclusives, yeah, that's gonna be the hardest one for me to get. I have three hundred thirty four out of four hundred. And then Mew and Mewtwo are also technically in the decks, but they don't count for the shiny charm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know. That's why we should add each other's friend codes so you can oh, trade me. Oh, as yeah. Asian, how right? do you? How do you? So um, you go up here to your profile. I'm like an old man here. Yeah. <laughs> you go up to your profile, and then um, you'll have to disconnect from the internet. Uh, and I think, otherwise, you have to close your game. Friend list. Oh, yeah, or maybe. it'll say on your profile what your friend code is once that loads maybe in. Maybe I should just save real quick. Yeah, that's a good idea. Always save, kids. Save your progress. Yeah, I got two gyms left. I don't have the um, autosave turned on because that got annoying. I'm scared I'm going to fail a shiny because of it. Somehow, oh, some way. Okay. Or um, I'll make a mistake and then I won't be able to go back and fix it or something like that. Online play ad friend. It'll be under ad friend. Yeah, it'll be under ad friend. Search local users. Okay. That'll wow. probably work. Yeah. This is what it likes. It's like having friends that play the same game as you. <laughs> yeah. I I normally have friends that play like Xbox and PlayStation. So like I. You want to do the yellow one? Okay. Wow, there's like spades and parts and stuff. Yeah. I haven't done it locally yet. Usually I just do codes over the internet. All right, there we go. Okay. Have you got a Donkey Kong game? Uh, it's for Smash. Oh, it's for Smash. Okay. Smash. Yeah, that, that was that was the pretty much the only game I played that in Breath of the Wild before I got uh Pokémon. Yeah, same. Like I was spamming uh i was trying to get every single uh spirit for super smash bros ultimate oh my god that's so much effort i was trying <laughs> i got so up to 1100 oh i can't believe yeah there's like 1300 and of course there's the dlc pack and i and oh, oh i, I know never i know. do that and the spirits they're just spirits too i got through it wait did it did it work yeah that'll work it'll uh Okay, you got it. I think once we both have internet connections uh, later, it'll uh, okay. add us. That's good to know. So I'll continue. Oh, wait. I'll mm. continue my adventure. The dark gym leader is actually really cool. It's it's cool that they added a dark gym leader to the game. And also, he's, like, special. You actually, um... Is this the, the first dark gym leader? That we get? Yeah, the first one ever. Because technically, uh, the island challenge doesn't yeah, there's count a, as a gem. Yeah, there's a kahuna. Yeah. Or, yeah, the kahuna himself. I thought his, him doing the Z-move, the dark-type Z-move, was kind of goofy. <laughs> yeah. Because he's, like, this serious man doing, yeah. like, this, like... The dance, yeah. Doing the dance. Maybe that's why they kind of left it uh, uh, region-exclusive, because it's kind of... Mm -hmm. It was kind of goofy, maybe for some people, you know, doing the yeah. doing the little dance and stuff. That's how that's how I could see it yeah. being or in a boardroom meeting, like you know, this isn't you know we have like a lot of like old people playing these Pokemon games, you know, maybe they like if we apply Z moves universally, like if we might lose some of our older fans because then then it's becoming something kind of cheesy you know mm -hmm. i don't know that that's kind of a that's kind of a hearsay opinion you know yeah one thing that's interesting about this um this gen is uh you actually don't catch your legendary before you're the champion you catch zacian or zamazenta after the credits roll oh that's cool yeah i still haven't gotten zamazenta yet I'm in the middle of the post game right now, um, but so, you do catch the third legendary. I heard that you... the post game wasn't that good. Well, I just started it, 
Um, there are these two assholes with sword and shield shaped hair um, that are just kind of the worst. Uh, oh, okay. And that's what I've dealt with so far. And there's like gigant or Dynamax Pokemon running all around. So I'm trying to beat them. Gotcha. Or I'm I'm talking to Milo right now. Oh, do you got like your uh, regular? I is it like what they did in uh um? Oh, this is the story that you're playing. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, okay. I'm thinking like you go back into the gyms like uh, Pokemon Let's Go and you mm -hmm. like fight. I hated Let's Go so much. I'm not a fan of Let's Go at all. I it wish that there was more cross compatibility, kind of like yeah. what uh um. I got tired of it so fast. Didn't they have like Poke Steps? Yeah, or something like that. Between games, and you could like get items from like the amount of steps you did between games. Like you got benefits. I feel like all the money that you farm and and try to make in like Gen Six, it all goes to waste once Gen Seven comes out. Like, wouldn't it be nice to, you know, maybe maybe I, if there was something like a, a like ten percent is all, all that you can bring back. Like, let's yeah. say you make, like, a million a million dollars, you can only bring, like, you know, 100,000 into the next game. Yeah. So that would make... That would make uh, uh, playing the older games uh, that much more worth it. Because, you know, if you're just playing for fun, spamming the Elite Four and, like, X and Y or mm -hmm. something, just because you want to get that Kalos experience again, uh, you can maybe funnel that money forward into the next games mm -hmm. yeah or or like items and stuff like that because like i know um was it like i have like the mars shadow z crystal and i haven't used it like and i haven't really had a reason to i don't think use i ever it. got mars shadow at all it's it's because i think you had to go to the movie ah yeah ah that sucks yeah i ended up going to the movie and i'm like Sweet, now I got this Marshadow thing. Because I also like the movies. I'm kind of that cheesy fuck that is into the <laughs> the animes of it. Yeah. Um, I really like the Sun and Moon anime, despite popular belief. I haven't watched any anime ever. <laughs> maybe oh, really? maybe a little bit when, I, when it was on like Cartoon Network when I was a kid. That's about it. What yeah. time do you want to leave, by the way? Because it's uh, oh, 3.20 sure. now. We should probably leave at maybe like three thirty. Okay. I think we had a good conversation. Yeah. About this. Kind of trying to think. It it kind of started off a little shaky talking about my OK Cupid <laughs> <laughs> matches and stuff like that. But it's like I could I could only get her attention with like Gengar and yeah. like Mew and Mewtwo and like. And now we're talking about Xbox and PlayStation. Like, oh, I switched to Xbox because my PlayStation, like, bugged out or something. I'm like, well, I like the Switch. And I, there's this nerd that I talk to. He's a good buddy of mine. And him and I go back and forth. I sometimes scream at him because he pisses me off because I have a Windows 7 laptop. And I refuse to upgrade. Why? Because I'm a defiant fuck. That's the only reason why. But, um... I digress from that. I said something that like got under his skin. I'm like, you know, the Nintendo Switch has superior hardware, in my opinion. To what? Uh, to the Xbox, PlayStation, oh, and right. PC gaming. And in his mind, I know what he's thinking. He's thinking, and he'll, he'll never let me talk and finish my point, because he's an asshole. But, <laughs> and I'll tell it to him face, to his face, like, you're an asshole, man. Like, this is this is why I think it's... If you want to hear me out, this is why I think it's superior in hardware. Because the Switch can do... You hear that? It can, it can, it can do that. Can your Xbox do that? No, it can't. Can your PlayStation do that? Can your PC do that? No. The best the PlayStation can do is have a shitty disk drive that eats your disc and you can't spit it out unless you take it apart or get it get it done and you have to pay like a hundred bucks to have it repaired. That's never happened to me with my PlayStation. But it happened to me. Sounds like a pain. It was. 
And I only bought the damn thing to play Kingdom Hearts 3 because I'm an... Because I'm a weeb. I did not like Kingdom Hearts 3. I, that's a whole other uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. perception. Uh, um, that's a whole other discussion uh, um, and paradigm to go into. Um, we could probably leave that for next time, too. Yeah. You know? Um, talking about, like, the, the themes of... It was kind of rushed. Leonard Nimoy is dead. Uh... You know things of that nature. It was a. Uh, it was rough, in my opinion, and it was just like so many different, pointless, useless mechanics, like. And then Donald Duck just constantly saying, "This looks like a good place to find some ingredients," drove me up the wall, and I refunded it after like a week. I was not a fan of that game. Part of me wishes I I did that, but you know I got the collectors edition of everything mm -hmm. so i'm like you know i'm gonna treat myself gotta treat yourself girl here's the uh sword haired asshole sword word yep sword word and shield burp squidward yep that's what i immediately thought of squidward that's speaking of uh the hardware thing you were talking about apparently there's this new thing called like the switch up or something and it's like a usb drive that you plug into an adapter that goes into this, uh, this little port on the bottom of your switch. Okay. And um, or you can plug it into the switch dock, and it um, it does some different things. Like it allows you to hook up a Xbox or PlayStation controller, and that was the original purpose of it. And you could play the games with an Xbox or PlayStation controller for like oh, twenty shit. bucks. Um, but now they they're releasing this new thing called Pokemon Mode, and. Basically, you press a couple inputs on whatever controllers you have hooked up while the switch up is plugged in, and it'll automatically shiny hunt for Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Is this like a third party thing? Or yeah. Is this... oh, okay. It's a third party oh. thing, which. That's amazing. That though. makes me so mad because it demeans the value of shinies so much. Yeah. Because I can just leave my switch on the table, walk away, go out of town for an hour. Come back, boom, there's a shiny yeah. Sobble in my box. And it's like, that is so infuriating that just, like, I'm, I'm thinking about buying it, obviously. <laughs> but um, they, like, they, I don't like, a bunch of shinies lost their value for me when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out and they did that wormhole thing because it's just so easy to get shinies. I um I was a big big or, fan. Or uh, Pokemon Let's Go, how it's just yeah, just you do this chain catching thing, and then you stand there, and that's it. Yeah, I you know I saw like this one this one uh, um because like Twitch now is like uh, um you know full of e girls mm -hmm. of like and I and I don't mean to like be that guy who's like oh it's it's uh. uh bunch of cute girls who don't know what they're doing they just picked up a controller you know that whole like gamer girl trope that you know is seen as it could be seen as uh sexist but the way i see it though it's like i i saw a youtuber that's just like she's so young she's probably into pokemon because it's popular and she she only played pokemon go i don't want to generalize but like me seeing that and she's just all it, all Pokemon Let's Go is is just Shiny Hunter Simulator. Yeah. And and just it, that part of it, not not like not like the E Girl thing, and not the Shiny Hunter Simulation mm -hmm. Simulator. Just both of them together. Yeah. You know, was kind of like, are you kidding me? Pokemon has become this. It is an art. You know, you gotta catch them all, and you gotta do it the hard way with yeah. grit and and fortitude, and you know. And I know this one PokeTuber um, who who talked about um, oh now breeding is going to be diminished because of caps like bottle cap caps uh, and stuff whatever. like that. Whatever, whatever. Breeding was stupid and pointless and annoying, at least for me. Um, There's got to be. Is there a way to change your Pokemon's nature? Uh, not that I know of, but um, you can use like synchronize with Ralts and stuff. Okay. And you catch one of the right nature or whatever. Uh, oh, that's good to know. Like yeah. if you, if you, oh, so like with shiny hunting, you, you have like a, yeah. a Ralts. Yeah, you have a synchronized Ralts that holds 
some item that lets you run away all the time. And oh, um, like a Poké doll or yeah, uh, whatever it is. Um, and uh, you just keep running away from every encounter of the yeah. Pokemon that you want. And it'll always be the correct nature because it's synchronized. There's like guides on YouTube and Could stuff. Could you do that with like uh, Umbreon or Espeon? Because they know synchronize as well. Yeah, anything that has the ability synchronize and whatever okay. nature you want. That's good to know. But that, that shiny wormhole thing was annoying because um, I got, I was a big fan of shiny Heliolisk and then I caught three in a row. Seriously? Yeah. Jeez. And I, I traded one to my friend because I had I did not care about it, but I ran I ran into three random wormholes, and I got three shiny heliolisks in a row. It's just it was just too common, and I don't care about the shiny anymore, which sucks. To me, shiny Pokemon, they were like, uh, it was like a special treat. Like I I remember mm -hmm. like now they have a lot of value because they're impossible to get in the new game. The main method, what people call the murder method. Yeah. Where you, you kill 500 and then you just run away from the rest until you find it. Takes forever. And then there's Masuda methoding, which is just running around in circles and hatching eggs. Which is boring, but it gets the job done. You know, I wish there was like an auto egg feature in the breeding, like the nursery yeah. center. You know, like... But that's what the switch up does, is it just breeds. And uh, the big thing that... The reason I'm thinking about getting disgusting. it is it allows for mass release boxes. Um, yeah. When you when you do Masuda method, you're just gonna get so many of the same Pokemon, and it fills up all your boxes, and you can't release multiple at a time. You have to release them one by one, which takes hours. Oh yeah, y you know, having a multiple release box that would be that'd be good. That'd yeah, be easy. That'd be another thing that they're adding in the future. Well, we better get going. So. Yeah, definitely. But it was a great conversation though. Yeah, we gotta sure. suit up, get ready for battle. Yeah, get ready for blast off. It's going to be an interesting experience. We're going to be playing music tonight. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it.